everyone, welcome back to another Counterside video. Today we're going to talk about Yen Sheng, her strategy, and her build. But before that, if you wanted updated Counterside videos, please hit the subscribe button down below. Okay, guys, so we have here Yen Sheng Lan. Chester, not Lancaster, but Lanchester. Okay, she is actually an SSR. Um, she belongs to the Academy Student Council. She is actually a counter, and um, she specializes actually, guys, in debuffs. Okay, take note about that. I will, uh, we will talk about that later. She is actually first and foremost a striker, and she is ground attack, and she is ground type as well. So. If we look at her stats, guys, so as her strength, she has HP, attack, and evasion. So HP is actually above average at 40,918, and her attack is at 4444, so 4,444, which are above average stat. Her evasion, guys, is actually pretty much very high as her base stat at 1265 okay at 61.27 percent so it's worth noting that you can bump this up um so that she would increase her evasion um further but before that her weakness guys is going to be her defense which is below average at 412 her crit is 257 which is low and her hit is actually 338 which which is also low okay guys let's proceed to her skills Okay, so Yen Sheng Lanchester skill info. So basic attack, she is going to deal an AoE with valid hits of two, swings her sheath with the daggers inside, inflicting AoE damage on the frontal area. One thing I noticed about the her basic attack, it's it's very short. So even though she deals AoE, she's very near to the front. And she almost sticks to the defender if you have a defender in front of her. So that's actually my concern about her basic attack. But from level 2, 3, 4, and 5, her basic attack damage will be plus 20%. Next is going to be her passive skill. She is Precedence class. Valid hits is also 2, also an AoE. So all attacks increase evasion by 10% for 8 seconds. Okay, up to 50%. So again, another buff for herself in terms of evasion. After every two basic attacks, she delivers an enhanced attack. Randomly removes one non-permanent buff cast on targets. So take note, her passive is also a buff remover. Levels 2, 3, and 4 is going to be um, an increase in attack of plus 12%, which bolsters her attack. So her passive gives her increased evasion, increased attack, and at level 5, um, enhanced attack always inflicts critical damage. So, which means that you need to more or less make sure... I don't know, um, her crit is pretty much low, so I'm not sure if her crit damage would still apply that that often but again um this is just a you know for me it's going to be a added adva added bonus to her if she's going to deal critical damage okay next is her special skill so gliding dagger so it's a 16 second cooldown which is very very short valid hits is actually two charges forward swinging a dagger and then leaps backward, inflicting AoE damage. The first attack randomly uh, removes one non-permanent buff. Again, a, uh, a buff remover. Okay, and her level 2, 3, and 4 are going to be attack of plus 25. And a cooldown of uh, minus 4 seconds at level 5. Which brings her cooldown to 12 seconds. Which she could really spam as quick as possible so her debuffs she can spam her attack to the back line she can spam as well we'll have a demo later guys on how she's going how far does she do this in terms of her special skill so again she, as for her passive and special skill there they already have debuffs so very good kit but again um i hope that she survives well with her evasion next or last would be her ultimate skill so ethereal sword dance 44 second cooldown valid hits is three so an aoe as well charges at a target 
uh, with both over daggers and inflicts AoE damage on surrounding enemies. The first attack randomly removes non-permanent buffs. So again, three skills, passive, special, and ultimate all remove buffs. So again, very nice, um, very nice to have her on your team. So again, she just has to be timed in deployment so, so that you could, you know, you could have added value as soon as she removes buffs and as soon as she attacks the back line. Okay, so levels 2, 3, and 4 damage is going to be a plus 25. Another plus 25 for her ultimate skill. And level 5 is immunity to all damage for 6 seconds after the skill. Let's take a look, guys, at her gear and see how we're going to be equipping her. Okay, I already have my Yenxing. Um First and foremost, her ideal gear set would be CDR or cooldown reduction or skill haste. If, if, if you guys are not familiar with cooldown reduction. So again, the her objective or her build is not really to deal damage in terms of basic attack, but to deal damage through her skills, her special and her ultimate, and also to have debuffs on oh, in the back line actually. So CDR is actually primary. If you don't have any CDR sets, probably you could make, have a mix of evasion and attack. So that you could bolster her basic attack and all of her attacks and also bolster her evasion. But again, um, the most recommended gear set would be CDR or skill haste. Gear stats, um, as for her gear stats, uh, gear stats, this actually, these gears are actually not hers. Th these are um, for um, a wicked Yuna. So I just put it here for the demo. So ideally, um, Again, skill haste is going to be um, your secondary skill. Um, you could also put hit so that she could hit uh, more and also put evasion as well. But skill haste would, you know, be number one. Um, evasion would probably be here. So evasion would be a primary stat on usually on movement gear for accessories. Okay, so... T6 gears recommended would be Maze Gear. Maze Gear actually has anti-ground damage, which actually would be very beneficial for her. And also she has anti-ground damage resistance. This, this would be um, for her weapon and for her armor. For her accessory, you will be going with Gorgeous Movement. So Gorgeous Movement actually has evasion. Evasion is going to be here on the primary stat. And also um, for, I think for, what do you call this? For here, the secondary stat, it's going to be a permanent stat, which is also a purple or a violet, which is going to be anti-rage damage resistant. So again, maze and gorgeous movement is actually the best, um, the best tier 6 gear for her. So I hope that you could, you know, you could equip her in the future. But if you have, if you don't have any, so... The best for now would be CDR gear sets. Then you build from there. Okay, for her deployment strategy, guys, let's take a look at her skill first without the minions. The minions. So let's take a look how far she deploys. So that is how far she's going to deploy her special skill. So again, um, her basic attack, guys, is very, very short, which is a concern of mine. Um, she might be she might be hit by AOE, which is actually in front, and her ultimate skill is going to be going to have a large area as well. Um, where is it? So, as you can see here, um, it has a large AOE. Let's try to reset her and uh, summon air and ground units. Let's pretend that she is fighting somebody in front. So AI is going to be on. And let's deploy her here. So as you can see, basic attack is very near. Her, her special is actually very, very far. It can really reach up to, you know, um, rangers at best. Probably your short range snipers can be reached. Like, for example, you have um, Edel. I'm not sure if she can reach Edel. She can also, I think, reach. Um, I forgot her name. The pink haired sniper. So, 
short range snipers can be reached by her attack so again um and also um hayami sanai she's a short range sniper so again she has very good range to hit the back line so again deploy her um prop preferably when you've seen the back line of your enemies already so sh she could actually use her special skill um outright then let's try her ultimate so for her ultimate she covers a lot of ground actually as, as you can see here the range is actually similar to her special skill so again you won't have a problem reaching the back line it's more of what i'm worried about when when we use her it's going to be her survivability but again it usually would boil down into timing on when you deploy her as uh, especially as soon as you see rangers at the back or snipers at the back then i think you could probably deploy her because again if you deploy her early she'd she will really stick to the defender right in front of her so and i'm sure she'll be squished even though she has a high evasion but that is all that is keeping her alive the rest uh, although she has a vab uh, above average hp but again you have to time her deployment because she is critical in removing uh, in removing buffs and also reaching the back line okay let's take let's take a look at uh, one more um in terms of her um, ultimate skill very very big aoe again i will commend um the design of uh, her costume um she's very agile in this so take note um i can't wait for her other skin to drop so i think it's probably a swimsuit but again, guys, um, these are the deployment um, tips for Yen Xing. Okie doke. So basically, my Yen Xing again is in level 81. So I haven't leveled her up yet. My final thoughts for her, guys, is she's going to be less used in PvE. Um, you don't really need buff removals in PV PvE. And you don't really need to take out the back line that much. Mostly they're they're playing in auto, so I think you could you know take out the back line. What's important for her is going to be PvP. She's going to be a nine out of ten, so she has a large AOE for both her special and her ultimate. But she is going to be vulnerable um, as a melee because her basic attack is actually very short. So again, the key to her is going to be deployment and um there will be situations that she will really shine but again there are other um strikers that um are you know are in her category which are good as well so uh, it's more of um we will have to adapt to certain you know certain bands and ups in pvp and probably that is the time that we can use her not probably not all the time but more or less she will be used on in scenarios that really needs her skills especially for special and for her ultimate okay guys so that is it for me so hope you find this video informative and also guys please consider subscribing while you're here and don't forget to click that bell icon so that you that so that you don't miss any counter side videos also guys please put a like to this video thank you guys Take care, stay safe. This is the Warden and I'm out of here.